Welcome to fifth grade math. My name is Mrs. Stiles, if you don't know me, and I'm going to teach you lesson two from module one for fifth grade math. Um, first thing I wanna do is do a little bit of review from lesson one so you feel comfortable moving to lesson two. So I'm gonna switch the camera around so you can see the work that I do, but I wanted you to at least put um, a face with a name and a voice uh, before we get started. So I'm gonna flip this around. And the first thing I want you to do is in your Eureka workbook, um, tear out the lesson one template or have it handy because we're going to use that a lot today. Um, and it's something that you, if you're not comfortable with it, you really need to get comfortable with it because we refer to it all year long. Um, it's page 11 in your workbook, I believe. So if you want to pause this and find that, that's fine. Um, I'm going to just do a little bit of lesson one before we move into lesson two. In lesson one, we basically learn that when you multiply by 10 or 100 and 1,000 on the place value chart, the digits get bigger, so they move to the left. Okay, so that's, I'm just, this is problem set one, so you can just watch for just for a second, and then we'll move into lesson two. So in this particular problem, notice the number you start with is three and 452 thousandths. So notice they've put that on the place value chart, 3.452, and you are supposed to multiply by 10. So that means all those digits get one place bigger on the place value chart, so the three, moves to the tens place and all the numbers follow behind it. So the number now becomes 34 and 52 hundredths. And it's put right here as the answer. Okay, so let's look at the next one and then I'll show you one where you divide. The number that we're starting with again is three and 452 thousandths. But this time we're supposed to multiply by 100. So the numbers are getting bigger because you're multiplying two places bigger because there's two zeros in 100. Okay, so this three, this is one place bigger. This is two places bigger. So the three would move to the hundreds place and all the numbers follow the leader, follow behind it like this. Notice the decimal stays right there. So the answer would be 345 and 2 tenths. Okay? And then 1,000, when you multiply by 1,000, all the digits get three places bigger. Okay, so that three would move to the thousands, thousands place. Okay? Now, I'm just going to show you division really quick, and then we'll move into lesson two. Okay. So um, back here, I'm just gonna go to this one where it's blank. The number you start with, they say, is 345. So I'm gonna put that on this place value chart. 345, notice I put it there because here's my decimal point. Okay, so this is the tens, the ones, sorry, the tens, the hundreds, okay? Now it says you're dividing by 100. Dividing means the digits are getting smaller two places smaller in this case, because there's two zeros and a hundred. So the three getting two places smaller would go jump here and here. It would jump to the ones place. So the three moves here. And then the other numbers follow behind it. So the answer becomes three and 45 hundredths. So I would put that on my blank. Okay, and then one more. If we start with 345 again, and divide by a thousand, the digits get smaller by three places this time because there's three zeros and a thousand. So this three gets one place smaller, two places smaller, three places smaller. So the three would move here and the other digits follow. So your answer is 345 thousandths. And you can put a zero there in front of the decimal point. Okay, so that was just kind of a briefing of lesson one, but today's focus is lesson two. So you can find that in your workbook, 
and you can follow along with me. Now in this lesson, um, you're supposed to concentrate on doing it. They don't draw the place value charts for you, but if you need to use it, that is okay. Okay, so use this template. Okay, use it as much as you want. Okay, we're gonna use it a lot in fifth grade. So notice the first example says 54,000 times 10. Okay, that means that you take this starting number and it gets bigger because you're multiplying and it gets one place bigger with the 10 because there's a one zero in 10. So that means this five moves up one place on the place value chart. Okay, if you need to use your place value chart, that's fine. You can visualize the number was 54,000. So I'm just gonna write it on here. But if those digits get one place bigger, that means the five moves to the hundred thousands place. The five moves here. And then the other digits follow along. Notice I have a blank spot here, so I just fill in a zero. So the number is 54, oh, I put that comma in the wrong spot, 540,000. So I'm gonna write that on my paper. Okay. Part B, notice here now they changed the operation on us. It's dividing by 10. That means your digits are getting one place smaller on the place value chart. So the five goes from the 10 thousands place to the thousands place. It moves down a spot. So 5,000, then the four bumps down to the hundreds and these two zeros bump down. Now this last zero goes past the decimal, but you don't have to put that because point zero really has no value. So that's your answer. Okay, let's move to part C. 8.7 or 8 and 7 tenths. It's getting bigger because it's multiplying. One place bigger because you're multiplying by 10. So this 8 in the ones place moves to the tens place. So an 8 in the tens place the seven moves to the ones place, so your number is just 87. Okay, next example. Notice we start with 8.7 again, but we're dividing this time, so the digits get smaller by one place. Okay, so the eight, and I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna put it by decimal point. This might help you. If you think about the eight gets one place smaller, so it moves here to the tenths place past the decimal point, so I put the eight there, and then the seven follows behind it like that, okay? Let's move up here, okay? We have 13 hundredths. It's getting bigger by two places, okay? So I'm gonna put my decimal point here, the one, gets two places bigger, so it moves to the ones, moves to the tens, okay? So over here, notice here's my tens place. The one moved up two places. The three would follow suit, and so the number's just 13, okay? The next one, it's getting smaller by three places, okay? So I have 13 is my starting number. That one has got to get three places smaller. So it moves to the ones place, then it would move to the tenths place, and then it would move to the hundredths place, okay? So if we visualize that, you have a one sitting right here and it moves one place, two place, three place smaller right here. So the one moves down here. The three is behind it, but there's a space here with nothing sitting there. You have to put a zero. Now, if this was confusing for you, you can use your place value chart, okay? So again, if you wanted to do that one on the place value chart and refer to that, the starting number was 13. You can use this place value chart for this whole lesson if you want to. 13, we said it was being divided by a thousand, so it's get, the digits are getting three places smaller. So this one would move one place, two places, three places. The one moves here, the three's behind it. And notice here's the decimal point. 
I can't just leave a gap here. I have to put a zero. Okay, so again, you can use the place value chart for all of these if you need to. That's okay. Okay, now we have the next one. 3 and 12 hundredths is being multiplied, so it's getting bigger. How many places bigger? Three places bigger. So this 3 is moving up three places on the place value chart. Okay, so the 3, and if this helps you, you can do this. The three is sitting here in the ones place, but it's getting three places bigger, okay? So that means it's moving to the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. That three moved to the thousands place. That means the one is in the hundreds, the two is in the tens. So I gotta have something in the ones, so I have to put a zero there. So the answer will be 3,120. Okay, one more. Our number is 4,031 and 2 tenths, and it's getting smaller this time. So the digits will be moving to the right, two places. So this four, my starting number, is gonna move to the left, to the right, sorry, getting smaller, two places. The four would move to the hundreds, to the tens. So the four moves to the tens place, the zero is in the ones, then we'd have the three, one, two. Okay, and again, if it helps you put it on the place value chart, the number was 4,031.2, okay? So there's my starting number that they gave us, and it said it was being divided by 100, getting two places smaller. So that four moves one place smaller, two places smaller, right here. And all the digits follow behind it. So you can see the answer that way. So please feel free to use that chart. Okay, so at this point you might pause the video and try this next part and then you can come back, okay? I'm gonna try to quickly put the answers down because I don't wanna make the video too long. Okay, so you can pause it and try these on your own and then come back. Okay, in these, all the numbers are getting bigger, all being multiplied. This one's one place bigger, so your answer would be 193,400. This next one is two places bigger. So there's your answer, 1,934,000. And the last one. Okay, and there's your answers quickly. It says explain how you decided on the number of zeros in the products. And you would just say that the numbers were being multiplied, so the digits had to move to the left because they were getting bigger. And in this case, you ended up adding a zero to your number, two zeros to your number, three zeros to your number. Okay, let's look at the back quickly. Back here says find the quotients. That means you're dividing on all of them. The digits are getting smaller. Okay, so you might pause and try these by yourself and then come back, okay? But if the digits are getting smaller, that means the one moves to the tens place. So this would be your answer. The next one would be one and 52 hundredths because the digits got two places smaller. And in the last one, the digits got three places smaller. Okay, and then you would just say something like that. The digits were get moving to the right on the place value chart because they were getting smaller. Okay, moving quickly on. So this doesn't get too, too long. Um, this last, these last two, it says Janice thinks that 20 hundredths is equivalent to two thousandths because 20 hundreds is equal to two thousands. Use words in a place value chart. Okay, so if you were just going to show this in the place value chart, it makes a little more sense once you see it. Um, and I, just for sake of time, I'm going to show you on the place value chart um, that I, we already have. 
Okay, so she says she thinks 20 hundredths, so let's practice writing that. 20 hundredths is equivalent to two thousandths. Well, let's see if that even looks the same. Those aren't the same value. Those aren't equal. Because she said 20 hundreds, 20 hundreds would be this. You see, here's the hundreds place. 20 hundreds, if I fill in my zeros, is that equal to two thousands? Yes, it is. Okay, in that case, she was right, but she's incorrect here because those don't have the same value. If you put them on the place value chart, you can see that. Okay, and the very last one, it says Canada has a population that is about one-tenth as large as the United States. So it's smaller, right? It's a tenth as large. If Canada's population is about 32 million, about how many people live in the United States? Okay, so the United States, if a Canada is one-tenth as large as the United States, that means the United States is 10 times as large as Canada. Okay, so if Canada is 32 million, but we're supposed to say the U.S. is 10 times that, 32 million times 10, well, that would be 320 million, because 32 times 10 is 320. And... Then we could just write that as a number in standard form. 320 million would look like that. So that would be how many people are in the United States. Okay, I hope this helped you. Um, if you have any questions, you can email Miss Ballard or me um, in Google Classroom. And hope you have a super great day. Bye.